Now one of the other things that we need to set here is for one of the statistical accounts we have this average unit price that is currently empty and that's because there is no corresponding value in our fact table for average unit price instead it's based on a custom calculation so we can go to our table here and find that we have a column already set up with the calculation that needs to be there and so there's a custom members column we can see that there's just a single custom member for average unit price and we can see that there's an account level for uh, there was an item 50 divided by an item number 97 and what that corresponds to we could find the 50 and 97 in here so we have 97 would be units and we have 50 would be the uh, net sales so those values are in the fact table and this custom expression says here's how to calculate this average unit price rather than storing the value because it needs to aggregate the sales first then do the division of the aggregated unit after the fact so it's just a simple process of going to our parent-child hierarchy and then in the properties window we can identify the custom roll-up column so this would be where we point to custom members and then if we had custom roll-up properties that also would be pointing to some column uh, that's all currently empty but the kinds of values that you might find there will look something like this let's go over to uh, the cube for a moment if we were to add a calculation we could set up a calculation let me just do one very quickly here let's just do the dummy calculation here I'll call it my calculation and we'll just set it to a, a static value but we can set things like uh, format strings and we could set color expression so we could say that if amount greater than 500 then display our font in green otherwise show it as black and so this is just uh, another example of a property so we have format string properties we have color properties uh, font styles and so forth with uh, size and flag and name so what's happening under the covers if we go to the script view here there's actually these properties format string and for color and visibility so this is what you would put into that custom member options column if you were to add things it would just be a common delimited list of properties so you'd have whatever property would be applicable here equals and then some string that represents the property value so you could literally just copy and paste this and put it into your relational source to define the properties that need to apply to your custom calculation so essentially what we're doing is is putting into our relational source the information that would normally go in here on our calculations tab but since this is not a real calculation I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we have our formula already set up in our custom roll-up formula so let's deploy it and see what happens we'll go to the browser reconnect and we can see now that there is an average unit price so that is being calculated from net sales which we'll find down through gross margin so that would be net sales divided by units comes up with our average unit price and that's how custom members work